Hi friends and welcome back to my nest. My name is Kate and today we are sewing block number six of the designer mystery sew along from Fire Water Shop. This month designer is Joanna Figueroa and her company is Fig Tree and Company. Um, this is her block right here. This is what it looks like right here. This is Joanna right here and the month and this month's block is called the pony block. So I'm going to show you what my block look like. Okay, so this is what my block look like this month. I want you to stick around and watch on how I sew my block step by step. And I hope that this will encourage and inspire you to not make this block a UFO or make this so long a UFO because it is kind of fun. And um, why make a UFO when you can sew along with me, right? So let's sew this block, okay? All right. So I have my pieces here all cut out and ready to go. So these are the flying geese. I've already had them done and we need four of them. I have it done right here. I'm going to put it right to the side like that. The next thing we are doing is taking that same flying geese. We are going to sew our C pieces to both sides. So we're going to need four on both sides. So four on each side. So we're going to need eight in total. So I'm just going to sew four onto this side and then four onto this side and I'll meet you here, okay? So I'm going to bring my iron here. I'm just going to press going away from my seam. I'm pressing to the dark side. And before this, I've already finger pressed it a little bit. So that way it will lay right. So I'm just going to press all four. So now all four of my sides are done and completed. I'm going to put it over there to the side so I don't confuse myself. All right. So the next step wants us to take our F pieces and we're going to take our I piece. In the pattern, we are going to sew like a half flying geese. We're going to sew going this way and it's going to be flipped back like this. That's important. Okay, so we're going to sew with our piece going this way. We're only going to be making two of this. I'm going to fold it back and I'm just going to trim off my, my ear pieces. I don't really measure. Some people measure with a quarter inch. I don't because you're going to fold it back. I'm just going to eyeball it and I'm going to fold, press it open with my fingers. Okay, just press, just very lightly pressed like that so this part is done and it's going to be facing this way the next thing we're doing is taking our e piece we're going to take two of them and then we're going to put right sides together like this and we're going to sew going this way kind of like a backward flying geese so making sure that i did it right it looks like it's supposed to look all right now i'm going to trim it and then I'm just going to give it a little bit of a heat. So it's flattened a little bit. I'm not ironing it to death. I'm just giving a little heat like that. And so that's done. So I just need two of these. And so these two are completed. I'm going to put them like that in the direction that it uh, wants us to do it. So the next, the next step we're doing is taking our H piece, which is just two of them. We're going to do the opposite of what we just did. So we're going to take our E piece, sew it onto this side. Okay, so our lighter piece is gonna go to the left and then we're going to sew from right to the bottom left like that. So this part is done and completed. So the next thing we're doing is taking our G piece, which is a little darker than this. So this is the pink and this is the red. It's kind of like, kind of close together in color for me at least. So we're going to come and sew like a backward flying geese. We're going to sew it going this way. Okay. So both of them are done. I'm just going to trim, make sure I got it done. Make sure I'm doing it the right way. Okay. Flip it back. All right. And then cut before I cut, I can un un um, rip my seam. But once I cut, then, oh my goodness, then I'm just have to like redo it all over again. So I'm just going to finger press it flat a little bit and then I'm going to bring my iron and press. So I have my iron right here. I'm just going to press 
give it a little bit of heat i'm just gonna set it on i don't have the clapper y'all i wish i'd have bought a clapper at festival i don't know why i wasn't thinking about buying one i saw it but i just don't know why i didn't buy it i need it so this is done i'm gonna put it right there the next thing we're doing is sewing another flying geese using our lighter d piece right here so we're going to take this now the orientation for this is also important so we're going to take our pink piece it is rotated like this in the pattern so we're going to take our pink piece we're going to sew going this way on both of them now let me do that we're going to sew going from upper left to bottom right so that's what i'm going to do now okay i want to make sure that i did it right all right and it's going the right direction yep so now i'm going to cut and because this is flying geese i like to press my flying geese open to reduce bulk so what i'm going to do is just kind of finger press it with my finger so this is going the right direction and we're going to take our next piece which is our g piece and we're going to sew it on the other side so now I'm just going to give my flying geese a little bit of a heat press my seam open, leave the iron on for a few seconds. So it lays flatter and that's that. So all my components are completed at this point. This is the most recent one that we did. I have laid them in order. Okay. So this is step one, two, three, and four. So now that our components are completed, this is the middle piece. I'm just going to put it right like this and then it wants us to connect our pieces so we're going to take our slanted pieces like our slanted um, rectangles we're going to put them together like this and then we're going to put this together like this so we just need to make two of this like that and i need to make sure that i'm orienting my opposite pieces the right way and i am so what i'm going to do is sew them together so now what we're doing is I'm going to press open with my finger. Then I will press with my iron. So these right here are done. So now all of our components are completed. So now we're just going to assemble the block. So these are going to go this way. And then this is going to go this way. So this is going to go like this. And then these are going to go like that. So we're going to sew these on like this. And then these side will go on like this but i like to sew looking at my point so i don't chop it off so what i'm going to do now is just flip it upside down and then sew it pressing direction has us pressing to the blue so we don't create bulk i'm just going to press it a little bit with my finger help it with the iron once I am so I press it with a little bit with my finger and I'm just gonna just a little bit to flatten it some all right so now what we're doing is sewing our top piece on this is very important so we are going to make sure that our points are going to be matching okay I'm gonna pin and I'm gonna come over here and pin so everything lines up now it may not be 100% right 100% of the time but I just want to try just so I have my points matching. So now I'm going to sew. And I'm going to bring this over, put it against it, flip it over to make sure I didn't uh, kind of mess things up on the way along the way. And I'm going to pin again. It's all done. I'm just going to press it open. I'm just laying my iron on top. It's very light so I don't stretch it out, even though I've already like starched this fabric and you can see it's pretty starched. It's not moving. I still don't want to press my iron too much and stretch it out. So this is done. All right, so it's gonna look like this. So far, this is what we're looking like. So we're just going to put this, the first part that we did earlier, we're gonna put one on each side like that and then the other two we're going to sew our eight pieces on we're going to sew our eight piece on two of these right here these are white on white and it's really hard to see the right side so i make sure i have the right side onto the right side and sew 
So now that my pieces are all done, I'm just going to press to the, it says to press to the white. So that's what I'm doing. Typically you don't press to the lighter side, but this pattern is wanting you to press to the white and that's what I did. Now this is done. I'm going to still put it like that. Next we have this to the sides. We have this here and this here. So what I'm going to do is sew this piece on and then sew this piece on and then we're going to come back and put that last two pieces on to the top and to the bottom. Okay. So now all I'm doing is pressing my seam open with the iron and just kind of not completely, but just making it look a little neat. I'm going to flip it around and press open. Everything it looks like is on. So what I'm going to do is bring this in, bring this in like that and sew it on. Now our block is literally completed right now. It looks complicated, but You've seen this step of how I was kind of like doing it. Just as long as you follow the instruction, the block itself, it's not that hard to put together. So once I do, once I sew this top on, sew this bottom on, we are completely done. So let me do that right now and then I'll meet you here. Okay. okay so. So here's my block all completed right here. And this is the photo of the block right here. So photo my block. So I am happy to say this turned out really, really well. And I didn't have to visit Jack today. Okay. So if you have not sewn your block yet, I hope this has encouraged and inspired you to go ahead and sew your own block. With that being said, I would love it if you subscribe down below. That means a lot to me and that will really support me in my channel. And if you are already subscribed, I want to just thank you so much for supporting me. And with that, I will leave you to have a wonderful day and have a beautiful weekend. Bye.